Are you even a booktuber if you don't have a Billy bookcase? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you my brand new, well not quite brand new because I've had it for a little while now, but I haven't done a video on that and it's my Billy bookcases. I have really wanted a Billy bookcase for ages as I have a shelf which you can see here but it's right above my bed and I didn't really like having all of the books on there because I thought it was going to like fall down and decapitate me which obviously isn't ideal so I've now got a Billy bookcase that's in another room and I absolutely love it but I'm going to talk you through my bookcase. So guys we're going to have to do this video vlog style because I don't have like a setup that will allow me to show you all of my shelves so we're gonna do it this way and i'm probably gonna turn the camera around so you can see but as you can see if i show you these are my shelves and i absolutely love them i can't believe that i finally got a billy and it's just amazing i apologize if i'm like really shaky i'm trying not to be but vlog style is difficult so the way that i tried to order my shelves was this shelf here is like my favorite books these ones are ya's that well mostly ya's that are colorful and have the bright covers these ya's here are ones i've read and these ones are some i've read some i need to read but more on that later so these are my shelves if i can just show you the books at the top here all the patricia cornwalls they're my mum's because my mum needed a bit of space and then up here i've got my tambourine that i got when i went to sicily and then we get to the books now i've read all of these books along here apart from save the date and fangirl and i never finished we were liars which you would know if you watched one of my other videos but this shelf here is one of my favorite shelves as it is completely full i've read quite a lot of them but i still have quite a few to go but some of my favourites on this shelf are Five Feet Apart, obviously, Windfall, absolutely amazing. Playlist for the Dead, I have finished that since I did a video on it before. Um, I loved A Girl Called Shameless and Are We All Lemmings and Snowflakes by Holly Bourne. And I can't wait to read The Twelve Days of Dash and Lily. I'm so excited for that. Okay, so this next shelf here is, I've tried to do them in a somewhat colour coordinated way. So we go from like yellows to darker colours to extras. <laughs> and this book I recently got by Josie Jaffrey, sorry if I said that wrong. And it is sort of a preview copy and I would like to thank her for that. But I read quite a lot of these books as well, I've got a couple to go. And I'd like to say a thank you to William Hussey also because I won his giveaway and that is a signed book. So absolutely love that. Thank you so much. Now, this is my favourite shelf. I absolutely love it. It's got all of my favourite books on it. And we've even got a little diffuser that I had in uni last year. So that's gone really well. So in here, we've got all the Karen McManus books. We've got the books by Jennifer Niven, Just Friends by Billy Taylor and Mutual Feelings, which are some of my favourite ever books. Alex Approximately by Jen Bennett, Extraordinary Means, and then of course we have all of the Miss Peregrines, which are actually I think in the wrong order, which is quite embarrassing. These two here should be swapped around, but you know, let's not be too pedantic. On to the next shelf, so these are my series books, and that was my little award I got from Athletics back in 2014. So we've got the series from Patrick Ness, all of the Harry Potters, a good, girl guide, a good Girl's Guide to Murder series, the Kissing Booth series, but I still not actually need to get the Kissing Booth, and then Jenny Han's, it's, what's it called? The Summer I Turn Pretty series. And then over here we have Birch Boxes, which if you are a real OG to my channel, I used to do those every month and unbox them for you guys. Okay, so this shelf is all of my sort of extra books that I'm a fan of but they don't really I don't want them any higher so these are sort of extra books I was never really a massive fan of um, the Maze Runner series and if you haven't read the uh, invention of Hugo Cabaret you need to read that because the film is absolutely insane 
and then we've just got these sort of extra books and then these books here are the books I used for GCSE English Literature and I didn't want to get rid of them because they have all of the annotations and everything so they're included on my bits and bobs shelf. Okay so this is the last shelf of books and this is all of my hardbacks, baking, extra books so we've got things like the One Direction Annual from 2012 which I'm sure is a collector's item nowadays with the Dare to Dream Life as One Direction and then I've also got all of the username Evie's, Mary Berry's baking books and Miranda Hart's books because I absolutely love her. The final part of my shelf is literally just files that I use for uni so that is not interesting whatsoever. So that was my really quick rundown on my shelves. As I said, this middle shelf is my favourite and I really try to go colour coordinated on this, going from whites to blues to yellows to blacks. And if you think I did a good job, make sure you put it down in the comments because I tried hard with that shelf. So guys, that's it for today's video. I know it was short, but I wanted to show you guys my bookcase and the books that I actually have on it because I'm sure a lot of you don't know how many books I actually have considering I've only done a couple of reviews and whatnot but I'm also apologise for the lighting, it's really grey today and it's the only day I have off working and placement so I needed to film today basically and I couldn't wait for the weather to brighten up so I do apologise for that but I hope you liked the video, if you did give it a thumbs up Comment down below if you've got any of the books that I've got or if you saw a book that you're really excited to read and make sure to subscribe, press that subscribe button and I think we're getting closer to 450 subscribers which is incredible so make sure to hit that button and I'll see you soon for another video. Bye!